A very good evening to all of you here. I'm sure all of us are eagerly awaiting this evening's program. I would just like to say a few words about this particular series which is being inaugurated here today because we found that the word choreography, sometimes they say, should not be applied for anything other than the ballet. But then we do not find an equivalent word for composing items for dance. So we use this for convenience sake. And I'm sure everybody understands what we mean by choreographing a dance item or a dance drama or a group presentation. And as you all, all of you know, almost every program other than the monthly programs, all the other programs presented by Nati Rangam are commissioned programs. We give them themes, we give them ideas, and we request the dancers to present it. All of them are practically thematic programs. And very often, these young dancers, they immediately come back. They are very enthusiastic and they say, please tell us what songs we can take for this theme. Then we gently tell them that they are starting at the wrong end. That is practically the last thing you go looking for when you explore a theme for dance or when you explore an item or a padavarnam, or a tillana, or a padam, or a javali. So, we thought, why not have experienced gurus to come and explain what they have done and give some pointers as to what is required when you do for a solo choreography and a group one. And uh, I personally remember, it must have been more than 30 years ago, Chitra Vishweshwaran, she put up probably one of her first group productions on Devi, which had her students aging from about seven to maybe 17 or 18. It was so beautifully done in every aspect and was quite a landmark production. And of course, after that, she has presented ever so many group presentations, thematic presentations. And uh, of course, under very extraordinary circumstances, she had to set aside the entire margam repertoire she had learned and she had to create a new repertoire for her dance school and for herself. So she had to start from scratch, right from Pushpanjali to Tilana, she had to compose items for the margam and later on she went to group productions. And Natirangam is very grateful to her because she agreed to do this at a very, very short notice. And we were aware of her difficulty because she had nearly 30 years material and the choice of what she was going to present here would prove very difficult. But I'm sure she has material for 10 such lecture demonstrations. So we have, I have great pleasure in inviting Guru Chitra Vishweshwaran to present this inaugural presentation on choreography. We are going to plan this, not as a serial, every month or every quarter. Once in a way, we will be inviting gurus to do that, whoever is willing and accepting our invitation. So we, will, we might be having quite a few down the years. Thank you. Over to Chitra. Bhagavati Muthi Krishnaya. 
it is a very challenging task that has been handed over to me. The subject is so vast and so deep. One doesn't know where to begin, where to end, how does one go on? What does one share, what does one keep? It's not not sharing, it's what does one share and what is of greater importance that has to be shared at the, the first point of time. Actually, there is so much to be said, understood, and even as we practitioners keep working further and further and further over years and years and years, there is so much that we learn at every instance. There are so many inputs into our own creative work from other sources of inspiration that one can never say one has reached the goal. As Sujatama, okay, mentioned the word earlier used with relation to Bharatanatyam or any other classical dance form of India was composition. My uh, Devadasi Guru, Srimati T. Rajarakshmi, with whom I studied the Thiruvadevardhur Bani for 10 years, and the great Varur Rami Apillai, from whom I studied the Varur Bani for four years, they both would use the word compose. The word choreography was a much later entrant into the Natyam lingo. And even while yesterday, my students were deliberately trying to use the word composition as against choreography. I said, let it be. It has now come to be part of the Natyam jargon. So we use choreography, but choreography, even as the very word suggests, has many more layers to it than just composing. Because what was the demand of the time then? What is the demand of the time now? What is going to be the demand of the time in future? Everything has, has to be studied against a reference point, historically, socially, religiously, sociologically, philosophically. Every yardstick Applies and as times change, society change, changes, people change, aesthetics change, and so on and so forth. That nothing remains static, and that is what is the strength of Bharatiya Samskriti and Bharatiya Kala, because there are rules, there are grammar, but still there is so much freedom and there is so much openness and even as Sanatana Dharma itself is so embraceable and inclusive, so also are great art forms. We've had very, very great composers over the past. To this audience here, I need not talk about this composers of music or composers of dance, now choreographers. And there is so much one can learn from their work and so much of what they have done that you can apply if you are provided to take away those blinkers from your eyes and those stops in your ears and let fresh breeze blow in. The sky is the limit. So now to get to choreography, what all are the requirements? How do we empower ourselves as choreographers? Do we just say, you see, I am an instinctive choreographer in the sense is I don't think here before I sit to choreograph. But that doesn't mean I just stand there and put out my hands and receive it from the heavens. I'm not that blessed. It is years and years and years and years of search, research, visiting, revisiting, reading, listening, 
observing that builds you up as a person with an aesthetic eye and an aesthetic ear, you develop what Thomas Carlyle called the seeing eye and the hearing ear. And that makes you immerse yourself into it totally, completely, till you become the dance and the dance becomes you. I always say, as a little joke, we all artists are like pickles, urgai. Urgaya jadi la pote, adu ura ura da dikuruci. So number na adu la ura 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 da rasa. Rasa, me, rasa, utpati panamuriya. We cannot create rasa if we do not immerse ourselves totally in all the aspects required. Now today we have different spaces. We have, in those days, why was there a, almost a corridor movement in Bharatanatyam? When I learned from my Devadasi guru. That is how I was taught all the pieces. It used to be done in the Sanidhanam. And when you see, even if you go to the great Brigadishwara temple, there's just that much space. And that is the area you are energizing because Natyam and Sangeetam energize. They, they bring positive vibrations. Even in the court, we look at the great palaces and you look at the spaces, they weren't spaces like today's stages. Look at the types of stages we have. We have we have a we have the regular proscenium stage, we have the open air stage, we have the box, black box, we have a semicircular stage like the NCPA, you have uh, you have two level stages like in Konarak. There's so many different types of spaces. Now these spaces have to be energized with our Natyam. When we look at it, it's it's so what uh, what is that? This is this is kinetics of space to which you add kinetics of movement, to which you add kinetics of sound, to which you add kinetics of color, to which you add kinetics of presentation. And it's not just kinetics, it's at a physical level, it is kinetics. At a deeper level, it's aesthetics. So it's kinetics and aesthetics of space, kinetics and aesthetics of movement, kinetics and aesthetics of sound, kinetics and aesthetics of lyric. Kinetics and aesthetics of lighting, kinetics and aesthetics of costume. You have to look at every aspect of it because so much has flowed under, water has flowed under the bridge. There is so much that one can continue to imbibe. I'm very lucky, I'm very blessed that while I learned a very traditional Paddhati bound style with Raja Lakshmi teacher, with the, with the great Varuvurar, he was a rebel in his own time. Today, his choreographies may look, somebody was telling me, they're so old-fashioned, yes. But see it in relevance to the period when they were done. Modalle Swati Tirunalu or Kamala Jasya word to or varnam format la Kamala ke set pani mada lege the na the varuvar. Pasurangal varnangala yad to pani na the varuvar. Go to go beyond just the padams and javalis which were usually done was varuvar. To get great uh, composers like Papanasham, Shivan and Natarajasundaram play and all composing and writing new lyrics and varnam for dance was Varvura. And such an aesthetic eye, I have yet to come across somebody who can bring such aesthetics to movement. Unfortunately, some of us have not retained the philosophy of his approach. And that is what is really being a shisha, really carrying forth, you carry, carry on the tradition, the legacy of philosophy, of attitude that any great 
legend creates. And you work, work with that as a base. You work with that as a foundation, and it takes you places. So here we have, we we have uh, talked about kinetics of space, and uh, I talked about the kinetics of space and the aesthetics of space. Now, usually, the first thing that strikes our mind is yes, we have the horizontal plane represented by the stage, and then we have the vertical plane represented by the dancer. That is the first stage, but we have to remember it's not only horizontal space, vertical space, it is aerial space, it, it, and movement. In, when you talk about the aesthetics of movement, the contrast of hard and soft, the contrast of curves and straight lines, the contrast of sound, strong and soft. And today, I think all choreographers, including the very young ones, are quite adept at creating all the most beautiful, great variety of geometric patterns with excellent mathematics. Our kids, they are doing it very beautifully. But what is it will give that extra oomph, that extra punch, that extra charisma, which makes one take away in the heart at least one moment that you will not forget for the rest of your life. Once I remember Professor Vishwanathan, my English professor in, in Kolkata, who was also a dramatist and also an actor who's acted a lot in Bengali films and with whom my mother was working in theatre in Kolkata. He once watched me dancing after I had come to Chennai and gone back. He said, and both he and my mother said the same thing that day. They said, it was all very beautiful. Your lines were very nice, you were graceful, your aramandi was good, you, uh, your approach was very nice, but you know, We'd rather, at some point, you know, we had forget it, forgotten all of it and just risen and given us a moment to take home. They said, it is absolute perfect, but we need that extra thing to take you to the next level. Now, comments like these, at the moment they are made, they may even, you, if you're very sensitive, you may feel uh, a little hurt, but they are actually the comments that make you grow. Now for, I always feel you have to be passionate about your art, passionate about whatever you do. But you have to be very dispassionate when you come to assessing. Assessment, you have to be very dispassionate. It's like you take your own child, we, we shouldn't feel that everything we've done, we have to be able to remove ourselves, distance ourselves. Sometimes it doesn't happen immediately. So work much earlier so that you distance yourself and then come to it again. No last moment work. Last moment embellishment. Work starts not in this movie, not even in this genre, in some earlier genre. Because what you read, what you have seen, what you have heard from somewhere in the dim past is what helps you again and again. Then we have aesthetics of I, I, I'm just giving a brief about these kinetics and aesthetics, and then we'll go to some demonstrations. Aesthetics of sound. Again, Milton. Audible silence. Such a beautiful oxymoron. And it is that oxymoron that Vadya used to keep talking about. Vadya means Varura. He used to say the most difficult kanaka must look very easy. For one day, the audience should feel I can get up and dance with the dancer. And that is when it is art. Ease in, write, the ease in writing comes from art, not chance. As those who move easiest to have learned to dance. So it should come, it has, it has to become part of your nature and you must just flow it. And he also, sensitized me greatly to musicality. 
it was already there in the family. This was before I met my husband, because my mother was Kes Narayana Swami's student on the Veena, and we all have learned music, and I had also learned Rabindra Shangeet and Rabindra Naritya. There, uh, you see, you learn a lot when you stay in a place like Kolkata because they do not have a classical dance style or music barney of their own. And with very little, they build it up so beautifully. And a lot of presentation of aesthetics is something which came from there. You know, working in those uh, dance dramas of Tagore and working with great lighting people like the great Topush Tada, Topush Sen. How many dancers are fortunate to have a Varodar, to have a Raja Lakshmi, to have a Topush Sen, to have people who have opened your ears and eyes to everything and your heart to everything. Then, the kinetics of melody, the aesthetics of melody. Then you have kinetics of movement. We've already, I've already included in the kinetics of space. But what is it that brings it all together? It is your own vision. And that doesn't mean all of us are visionaries. You know, genius is 99% inspiration and 1%, sorry, sorry, 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration. So even without that 1%, we all can be very good. And if you have that 1%, it's God's gift to you. It's His grace. Nothing is us. We are only tools and this body is just a medium for that shall we say, the master to play chess with. When does it all begin? When does enriching ourselves begin? When does all this start? It starts at a very, very young age. You're very blessed if you love to read. You're very blessed if you love to hear. There are people who are happy to hear their own voices and happy to hear gossip and speak past gossip to read great works to listen to great music i'm not confining myself to carnatic music or indian music or because i have been brought up with a multidisciplinary background and my husband though born and bred in this city was a person who had a very wide vision if i was crazy about Western classical ballet, or I was crazy about the East European folk dances, or I was crazy about jazz music and jazz dancing. He was equally crazy about every form of music. So in fact, we both met because those days, having music easily available was very difficult. And Dr. Jagadishan, our common family doctor, used to have a great collection. And we both used to meet to listen to Tchaikovsky <laughs> in his place. So it, 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 it just, I'm just saying, it, 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 it opens up your mind when you listen to all types of music, when you hear people speaking, when you see different types of movement, when you read about different philosophies, you read different languages. It's not possible for one person to become proficient in every language, but you can sit with a teacher and study. I remember way well, years ago, in the early 70s, every morning, my Tamil Vadiyar used to come to my place. Our Tamil Panditar, our Samskrit, he was a Panditar. So every day, we just used to sit and read together. And the point was, we never did any reading with the production in mind. In the production, work in the dance, 
theater though in lamai we just read similarly my husband and i would just listen to all sorts of music it wasn't having just of course if you have a goal it helps you but what i'm trying to say is all this reading is what helped me much later when i started working on my my choreographies yep. Oh, spark around where the inspiration comes one does not know so where, while all these kinetics of state of, of space and aesthetics of movement and sound and lighting and all are taken into consideration how does one select lyrics how does one edit lyrics even equally important if not more is editing the lyrics and not just selecting the lyrics for instance just as an example i just like to share with you what happened when uh, the number 7 was given to me by the swarna sankhya festival itc and then i wanted to present the sapta suladi taalam sapta kanda ramayanam of valmiki the yeah for ever ke and it's not enough if i go to a resource person and the resource person tells me what to do and suggests they are of course welcome to give me suggestions but i must have conviction in what i am doing i must have conviction and choose the lyrics so and sanskrit vadyar and i we were He, he would read i would read we would read together and those days we were very fortunate we did not fly anywhere so we went by train ella adathukku train la poi irukom i take the top berth and these three tomes of the valmiki ramayana huge fat and uh, they were my pillows at night so திடீர்னா நடு ராத்திரி ரெண்டு மணிக்கு புக் எடுத்து படிப்பேன் அண்ட் ஐ ஷேட் தட் த லைட் பிக் ரீடிங் லேம்ப் பிகாஸ் அதர்ஸ் வுட் கெட் டிஸ்டர்ப் ஸோ இட் வுட் பி ஃபார் மந்த்ஸ் டுகெதர் தட் ஐ வுட் பி ஐ ஹேட் பீன் ரீடிங் இட் ஆஃப்கோர்ஸ் ஐ ஹேட் ரெட் இட் ஏர்லியர் பட் இட் வாஸ் திஸ் டைம் ஐ வாண்ட் டு பிக் நவ் வென் யூ ஹாவ் சம்திங் லைக் த வால்மீகி ராமாயணம் valmiki didn't write for us to dance to he wrote in anushtup chanda he wrote i am big pentameter and it was for reading and listening but it was not for dancing to so we can't say he gave so many details and uh, and uh, use all the lyrics it's not necessary that's why you need to study it yourself to decide what you think is relevant so the sapta kanda thende rukmini amma has done that rukmini devi has done that is a seven day uh, feature it can be even extended further either now one piece la pannana i decided let us again i never thought i must be different for the sake of being different maybe the way i was brought up and the gurus i worked under help me you know think differently because even then varurar would say don't keep the flask tight when somebody came and said in delhi ye epdi po tight loose a vechirukala he say avar romba graceful avar aadacha avar po avaloda aadano pinnalo aadano ba so uh, you know uh, people who in their times push the envelope this is nothing new that what, what we all are doing today it has been there every great person has has pushed the envelope so uh, what what did i want to do i how would i present it so i uh, heard it there i decided there will be one major episode or or narrative that i will touch upon in each kanda and not the whole kanda in any way ada yedte they were stanzas i would have probably taken the sec- first line from the second stanza sanza the kanda and from the 40th line i would have taken the second line and somewhere else i would have taken half a line and then i would edit it and put it and then take from somewhere else another line and this i would do and my sanskrit 
stick to my Sanskrit master to be sure I was also grammatically correct. But you learn this art. It start coming, starts coming to you if you're spending time with it all the time. So there were just maybe four lines from each kandam. Then I took it to Lalgudi Mama. And then Lalgudi Mama, what a genius he is, he composed it and, you know, the humility of these great composers is they sit with you and discuss what ragams you would like. And and it was not just a ragam, but with him I would always take the I would take the liberty, the same liberty I took with Jay Shri, Bombay Jay Shri, and which I've always taken with my husband, my other composer. <laughs> and uh, it, it I would take the liberty of explaining and discussing with him the approach that I wanted to take for that particular kandam. And how I would like it strung together, and that's when he worked upon the swaram coming at the end of every uh, stanza, of every kandam, and ending in that ragam, and that talam would be completed. But then what happened was, after doing all this work and the tuning was done, there were just two days to go for the performance, which was in Narada Ganasava. I felt there was something very incomplete about it. I said, what is it that is lacking? I realized I had all seven incidents, but I didn't have a link. It wasn't enough just to have a musical link. It, it felt totally incomplete. This is what Sujatama was discussing with me the other day. This importance of linking. So, Monday, I put a watch in the think, pani, think, pani, dirina, tonit. Why not have a refrain? Like a palavi. Arthanam, arthi hantaram, bhitanam, bhitinashanam, loka bhiramam, shri ramam, bhuyo, bhuyo, namamyam. Everyone knows it. So, why not take this familiar refrain and link it in each raga and each tala? and make it as a cohesive whole. And that is how it came together and had a completion to it. It's like even when you understand the lyric of a Varnam, you must keep connecting to the Pallavi. Similarly, in the Uttarangam, you must, each Charana Sahitya, you must connect to the uh, yeah, the main Charana Sahitya, because then you will even understand and realize how Tirupar the Yanga Tirupala. Ilata or Ara Korea Tirupala Tirumbiro, Ilata Fulla. We can't have Padacheda Manatta Veda. It can, should not happen. At, uh, so it's, uh, these things are important. So, how do you string? Are we going to the yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, I, I'm sorry I have to keep referring to the younger generation. I forget everything nowadays. So sometimes I think I'm even going to forget what my name is because otherwise I'd the vice So uh, this, uh, again, so uh, the importance of uh, revisiting and reassessing your work. Now, Natya Rangam has put up so given opportunities to so many dancers to do solo thematic presentations, to do group, uh, to do not in a duets, solos, and then everywhere everybody is doing uh, uh, not in adagams. Everything is happening. In olden days, like my first production, big group production was Devi Ashra Samalika inspired by uh, the 51st stanza of uh, Adi Shankar Bhagavad Pada Saundarya Lahiri. Somehow it always fascinated me. And the description earlier, the 49th and 50th stanzas, where he describes Devi's eyes, and he says, two lotus petals, and he says, and her eyebrows are like bees, and they look like Manmata's uh, uh, Mushti is holding the Cupid's power. 
Arahana varu varna, varna no. So you know when you read, you don't need to think, have I to keep my body like this? Have I to keep my hand like that? Just get inspired by the poetry, if not that poem. Now, for instance, all those lines that uh, I had studied but edited out of the Valmiki Ram Ramayana were not a waste. It's never a waste to read all that because they were the source of inspiration for Sanchari in the actual presentation, finally. So, um, I don't, uh, you see, normally we begin with an Anjali or an opening uh, piece in every, in every uh, uh, production, whether it's, even this word production, sometimes I feel, feels like a factory line. Production, production, so now you know, what's your production? Uh, Two million three hundred. So reply, uh, uh, I don't know, we have to look, use different words for all these. Here, uh, let me first, sir, 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 the map from Pandora, okay. So, Panna, yeah. So, you see, uh, why self-assessment is so important? Now and there, let me take uh, 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 where the sort of turning point came in my thinking. Otherwise, you know, I have, in all my productions, I had a very beautiful Anjali. I need not demonstrate to this audience, who themselves create very beautiful Anjalis, where all the beauty of movement and all the beauty of rhythm and all the beauty of space, everything is experimented. And then you have very good lighting people who do very good lighting, but all of them tend to do only mood lighting and forget the fair has to be lighting on the face. We have to be in control. So it's not enough that a lighting man does a lighting design and comes and marks the center. Sometimes we don't even know how to stand on the center. And the light is falling on our feet instead of our face. So all these things we have to enrich ourselves, even as choreographers, because uh, my dancers will tell you, I'll say, the other day they were all laughing, remembering incidents from the past, how while entering, I would come behind the terrace and say, raise you, raise it by an inch, bring it down by an inch, all behind uh, directing them because you, you need to be aware of all the aspects of space, of lighting, of, of where the light is falling, which I will uh, illustrate through some more uh, uh, videos. But here what I would like to say is, you know, let me take Panchali as an example, because Panchali I have, I have worked on as a solo. Panchali for the Varahat Tamil Mahanadi, when was that, 1990? No, 1996 was not Pulahat Tamar Mahanad. I think it was 1994. I had created it for very, very beautiful, eight beautiful girls dressed very beautifully, and all of them doing, coming in with very beautiful moments, and they'd all dance very nicely. It was a great success. We and we uh, uh, we uh, were invited to do it in other places. But then, somewhere in a very short space of time, within two years, I had been traveling a lot. Even earlier, I had traveled a lot. And when I go to a place, I like to take in. My husband and I would go to the opera. My husband and I, we would go to the ballet. We'd go to the Louvre. The only place I didn't like to go to where he went was to Akihabara in uh, Tokyo, where all the electronic shops would be. And I would say, I will go to the Tokyo Museum. You, you go there, or I go to the Shinto Shrine. But we, we took in a lot of the local color, the lo local flavor, the local history, the local culture. It's, it's so amazing when you find that you, we've actually gone to churches where there was a, what they call a pagan temple, where Shakti Upasana was done. This is in Italy, in uh, Chingoli, and in places like, of course, now Russia, then USSR, 
but you know when you come you see how much our cultures have remained have been the same in all 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 regions so but while traveling i had um, i had uh, seen a lot heard a lot led read further got more and more involved and uh, at that point of time i sat back and i said there's something which i feel can be much better in panchali i said what does this pretty pretty anjali have to do with the main body of work if you write an essay your introduction should introduce the subject and there has to be a con- conclusion after that idu onne inda inda introduction ku dharma kshetra kurukshetra ke na relevance i said no this is not how i must handle it why don't i handle it in another way so paavam ena husband dhan kadipar avaru vandu maatinde rendu manikku right wake up poi enna odunga varo இல்லை இல்லை இப்போ பாஞ்சாலி படம் போகிறாள் நாட்டிக்கலா கான்ஃபரன்ஸ்க்கு வி வர் ஐ வாஸ் கன்வீனிங் நைன்டி சிக்ஸ் நைன்டி செவன் அண்ட் ஐ திங்க் தட் இயர் இட் வாஸ் டான்ஸ் ஆஸ் அன் இன்டர் டிசிப்ளினரி ஆர்ட் ஆக்டிவிட்டி தட் வாஸ் த சப்ஜெக்ட் ஸோ ஐ செட் லுக் ஐ வாண்ட் டு டூ பாஞ்சாலி ஐ வாண்ட் டு ஒர்க் ஆன் த லைட்ஸ் ஃபர்தர் ஐ வாண்ட் டு ஒர்க் ஆன் த மூவ்மெண்ட் ஃபர்தர் ஐ வாண்ட் டு ஒர்க் ஆன் த ஹோல் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஸோ ஐ சரி இப்போ என்ன பண்ணுவோம் ஐ செட் லுக் இந்த அஞ்சலிலாம் அழகாக இருக்கு ஆனால் வந்து yeah it has no relevance to the work thrown out there so why don't you compose an anjali let us sit down together and i and i said at the veeram i want to bring out veeram i it's not just a war cry i'm talking about and we are not going to use any any uh, props it's only going to be the human body and here i would just like to say i went to devi ashra samalika the first at that time i did use vesham i did use patra vesham each each character was dressed in that vesham i had 13 changes to do and some were 31 seconds 23 seconds timer which to run up la so adela but why did i drop it one uh, the main most important thing was economics because all of the costumes now where do you go for funding what support do you have for uh, for uh, natya productions in our country the, when they talk about us they say oh they are the cultural ambassadors of the country ana ava namukku kuduka vendi panam kuda varadhu in grants so number one we 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 have to if we want to survive we help ourselves so drop this idea of costuming and then we learned to do our own costumes many people are doing i have even today are doing design our own jewelry make our own jewelry idellam kattundom idile enna na and what i decided let us discard this vesham patra vesham konne but let us let that not be a weakness let us make a strength of it because vesham kattinu vandata it is half the battle won you know whether it's a karna you know whether it's a kunti you know whether it's a rama you know whether it's a ravana veshalena your body has to speak the body becomes your tool and after all, finally and a painter ku paint and brush and tool na enak en body da en tool so empower your body to be able to create the presence of characters this presence is a term from theater the characters have a presence and when it's not whether you are have a play stage presence whether you're good looking on stage or whether you're slim you have a slim waist or and you have a shape or you're shapeless you're a stick it's not that talking about presence of a character vandha ninna and the solo ni irundhirk illama illa raja lakshmi teacher vandhe கண்டிப்பாவா நின்னானா பாலம்மா எல்லாரும் பார்த்துருக்கேன் அது நிற்கிறதுலேயே அது ஒரு ப்ரெசன்ஸ் வரும் அதில் வி ஒர்க் ஃபர்தர் ஆன் இட் வித் அதர் சோர்சஸ் ஆஃப் இன்ஸ்பிரேஷன் விச் வி டெட் விச் ஐ வில் கோ இன் டு லேட்டர் 
So at this time, so I, I told him in the one day, uh, the reason why, how we made a positive out of a negative. The, uh, so I told him, uh, so he put even the, the mood has to be mood of, uh, the, the movements that I will use will not be actual attack and defense, but I will use others which create that attack and defense. So you have to compose an opening which rings of of war. It rings of conflict. It rings, and I said I play contra patterns of rhythm so that we even bring the conflict in the rhythm itself. So for the first time, my dancers were told, please do not smile. In Gere, can be rumba pala kamsa puri kaadhe dance pala chal. Dan smile na yenna. It's not because you know I say I'm looking at one's teeth. I'm not a dentist, right? It's 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 just that. What is a smile representative of? Your joy, your aranda, your bliss, your enjoyment when you're dancing, and you don't need to be showing your teeth 24/7 while dancing. Just enjoy it. Chilver ke pa bandi puri chiri kada, apni chiri kada, vai mori chiri. Mool ke puri natural var do pannu ko. And if it's too much, I'll tone it down. Don't worry about that. I'm there. That's the biggest advantage of having a teacher, guru sitting in front of you. We all who have worked on our own, wasn't it? <laughs> we know how difficult it is. It is because we have had people with us, like I had my mother, who was so such, who knew dance and music and who could really guide me because what looked good and what did not. Because after my time with Varvur, I had to be on my own. And on the call of the law, you could not take your the choreography of your guru and go and give it to another Nattvanar and tell him to do Nattvanam. It was, today, Vadyar would say, Nattvanar, Nattvanar, Arkanam, Tattvanar, Arkakudadam. And they are going to later, wait, but. At the, you know, you had to, you could not just hand over like this in any XYZ doing Tattrada. Because that's the parampari, the parampari, the sottu, the sottu matana illa, the heritage, the culture, the kalai. It's like taking away someone else's, stealing from someone. That's how it was. And our Gaurava Mahavulava, they used to say, into the road, Jatiya na kayyada mate. It wasn't ego. It was also respect. So, so what happened was so then this this opening was born. I call it yudhanjali because they were told no smiling and viram and a style which is is also a lyrical style visually, but. You uh, need to, you need to, uh, these aspects will have to be brought out. The, the, we have worked for months in getting the body into place. And, and try and an error of movements, otherwise which would suggest it. I would first like to play that opening for you. And then two more openings to show how it is the mood of the production that is reflected in the opening. So that means you have established the mood of the of the creation that you are presenting. Idil, I would also like you to note the use of space. It may not be a great video. I think it's 1996. And two levels. We had the ramp at the back. We had the regular stage, and one group would come on the ramp, the other group would come on the floor to show the attack and the, the yeah, the attack and the defense, right. You know what the miracles would happen. The attack and the defense. And again, the use of lighting. Even then, the side rooms playing in, and the colors used were all 
the way that the space, again, the way aesthetics of lighting, the aesthetics of sound, the raga employed, how they all went together in creating the mood of the entire production. This only happened because I stood back and dispassionately assessed my work, Panjali. Patterns of rhythm. What is set to Chaturasham point air come? In noon, set to punch and Anjinaria. And the rhythm would be played by the Saralagu by the percussion, and the Natwanga would do the contra pattern. Because this is, I think, this is uh, the contra pattern uh, was. Uh, See, because even in the thought process of Kunni Sarvalagua Pundrake, in one contra patterns of Andrake, to show the cacophony, to show the confusion, to show, show uh, the disharmony and not harmony, these were little things that were employed, and uh, the two levels of stage, uh, a walk which had to look more martial than our, our normal Kulungal walk, and Again, to show two sides, because after all, what is the whole uh, Mahabharata, Mahabharata about? It is about the confrontation between good and evil within us, the Kauravas and the Pandavas, within us. So uh, this uh, is a little is an extract from the opening, the Yudhanjali. I'll take you next to. Um, 
we'll take an extract from Anubhuti. Anubhuti was our production uh, that was in the Magam format. It has uh, history. The opera of France. They had been coming for three or four years and watching all the dance performances uh, in Chennai and other parts of India too. Then they approached me with a request that I create a group margam with French sensibilities in the sense of using space the way ballet uses it. Ballet was my first discipline. The, the way ballet uses it. Now, again, a piece may be written for solo. But, or comp the original may be in, as a solo. If you make it into a group, you need to transcribe it. It's like Bach or Beethoven wrote for piano. But when you play the guitar, it is transcribed for the guitar. It's not just so one into X number of dancers doing the same thing or doing opposite sides or just doing a little bit changes. The whole approach to space and sound has to change. So we, at that time, uh, when they, they said the fear, look at their fear, which we don't seem to have, they said, see, the, France had been one place where they would only accept the purest of classical. I used to go every year to perform solo in France. It began 1980. It went on until for 20 years. Every year going and uh, performing there, if not uh, at least once, if not twice, in major venues. They said, nowadays Bollywood has taken over. And we are losing audiences about Bollywood performances. They need, you know, need not even be dancers from Bollywood, but if you play Bollywood music and our local Sri Lankans and Indians dance, even that is fine. That is taking away the audiences. So we want you to create something. They actually commissioned me for this. And Anubhuti was born. The main piece of this, which will be demonstrated a little bit later, is Angayar Kani. And I will talk a few words about that later. But again, what was Anubhuti? Why didn't I call it Anubhava? Why did I say Anubhuti? Anubhuti is the highest, the ultimate experience where you have the handshake with the Lord. So Anubhuti na anda Anubhavam, the ultimate experience. So Anubhuti, le, so what are you doing? You're celebrating. What is everything about? It's a celebration. So we, the entire opening is celebration. It was in three ragas, and even as life goes on, whatever happened, the sun rises, it sets, the moon rises, it sets, seasons happen, seasons change, uh, the rhythm in the heaven rem remains there. If a number of or a tragedy, it, life goes on, and it's, everything is a celebration of that cosmo cosmic energy represented by Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. So Adilendu would chin extract poor and just for you to uh, to share with you all how the flavor of the entire production is introduced in uh, this is the Trimurti Anjali, the Trimurti Anjali and and here I will say that later. Light Jam, 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 Okay. 
जम जोनो के टजम We just showed you a little bit of the second one and the first one. That first one was actually the music was composed for Nyanadatta Twam Mande, which was offered to me as a gift by my disciples. And that first the opening, which I have still retained, was done by Vijay Madhavanan and Sukanya and Lakshmi, Lakshmi Ramaswamy, Sukanya and Vijay Madhavan. So I retained it because that flavor of coming in, that, that happiness was so evident. Then it goes on into three. Now, on the other hand, a much later work, Mira. Now, what? is the production. Now, it wasn't a historical production. It didn't matter to me. I don't care whether Akbar came in disguise and watched her, heard her sing, or Tan Sen. I, I'm not a historian trying to establish this is what happened, this is not what happened. I'm very fond of history, and I'm already always reading books on history. Even today, I've I've, I read a review about uh, uh, Shashi Tharoor's uh, uh, play. Uh, uh, his aide, uh, aide in command, has now written a book on some very unusual aspects of, uh, of, uh, of the Deccan history. So I'm very fond of history, but look, Meera has been done again and again and again in so many different Genres, cinema, punyache, partly, punyache, drama, punyache, dance, punyache. And again, not there to punner there, but when Aim for Seva approached me and asked me to do it, it was something after my own heart because I have grown up uh, reading Meera as one of the Bhakti poets in my. I, I did Hindi as a first language, uh, studying it, and, and somehow. I've always been very, to me, she's a very strong person. In appearance, very gentle, very bhakti oriented, but like Valmiki Sita, strong within. She questions him in Valmiki Sita. Adi Mari Meera, when you think of it, born in all that luxury and pomp, and she's probably, you know, bathing in rose water every day, being anointed with sandalwood oil and perfume and upper and uh, such luxury. Uh, her handmaidens at a beck and call, a princess, born a princess, ma married into, uh, married to a prince. What a life of luxury it would have been. Inni fan, workman le na, le nambal ko yir po yir po de, oh, inverter vandurthi, nambal ko vandhi, generator vandurthi, AC workman na do thonarthi. We are not able to give up our animal comforts, our physical comforts. Imagine that, Meera, for the younger generation, imagine Padmava, to bring to your uh, minds Padmavat. In Padmavat, look at the luxury, the pomp, the splendor. That's how she grew up. Yeah, were conviction and focus life. We cling on to every little thing, to leave it, to have vairagyam, to get detachment. That is a spiritual journey. It's not just going to a temple or following rituals. It's not just going to a darga and play, praying five times a day. It is not just going to the church and adoring the Lord. It's not that. But to me, she's one of the strongest, strongest women. 
I can ever think of. And so I said, okay, what do I, I want to identify with? What do I think every seeker can identify with? A spiritual journey. So it was the young Mira and then the Mira in her prime, in the court, in that atmosphere, and then the Mira to whom Dwaraka is the goal. So focus. We focused on what your end goal is. Do you want temporary name, immediate fame, immediate money, immediate uh, adoration, or do you want that naive, that feeling of completion and satisfaction and peace at the end? We all have to look within and think, give it a serious thought. So, so the Anjali, again, I don't call it an Anjali, the opening for Meera, it's all in, that comes under Anjali in the sense that we use other ways, we use movement. We, the, 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 the color of the Rajasthani court, the color, the movement, the light airiness of it. For instance, I have not used uh, the haze in any other production, but here I felt it justified because there was a certain mysticism of uh, of uh, of pomp and splendor, and you see the togetherness of the girls. It's just a, it's a zanana. It's not a mardana. Not a single male would be allowed inside. Only the eunuchs could stand outside. There were no men allowed in at all. After you could say it was just a zanana and all the girls playing innocently together has to be reflected, I felt, had to be reflected in the opening. Light. <laughs>
because of all three are so different from each other, because they reflect what the production is about. These are about the groups. I talked about how we string things together. And obviously, in Natya Naragam, you're, you have more liberty. Not that you are frozen when you do a solo. Even in that, as I gave you an indication, Raja Lakshmi teacher, oh, Bala Salsati, oh, or Nanale, or the Nathariam. In fact, I remember the Shruti Seminar, 10th year. I remember and the Sarabindra Bupala Pukurum Kurvanjila Vande and the Raja Vana Nona, she just came and nodded her head. And we Kirangara, who till then had never believed that Raja Lakshmi teacher was a very great dancer because she had left for the Tagore family had taken her with um, uh, number. And she had gone to Calcutta and settled, and so he had not seen her dance. When and when he used to see this movement in my dance, he would say, Morning Yanki in the in the type of Avina I am lying in the Vandarka. I said it must have been unconsciously in Raja Lakshmi teacher in the Vandarkana. I don't believe Lee and Moshal Then that day he stood up after Rajapat, she was also called Rajapa, Rajapa teacher dance, and he stood up and he said, turn around and said, Chitra, I now believe you. You know, evocative are come bodies. So it's just we are taking off from where what they have given us. There's already the foundation of that. So uh, just as you know, I said, you know, look at to look at something from a different viewpoint makes the production that much more interesting. In okay, even when I as in solo, I've always not in life itself. My father used to tell me if there are five ways of solving a problem. He used to teach me all my science subjects, including chemistry, which I hated. And my mother was my guide in all my aesthetics. And both of them used to say, if there are five known ways of doing something, never use the five. You used to try, try for the sixth one. So, so it was always, you see, so when I was, would read, what would, what would find a place in my heart was something like, even as a, as a kid, Mahadevi Varma's Kekei Kanuta. Janaki, remember it from your uh, Jamshadpur days. Kekei uh, Kanuta, in there, Kekei is her trauma, her self torment on what she had done. It was something so powerful, it always stayed in my heart. Similarly, when I started reading Tamil after coming uh, to Chennai, Kulashekar Alvar. We all think of Yashoda, we say, Adisitale Yashoda, Avla Parati, Avla Vande. We envy her. That cosmic truth was a kid in your hands and la envy pani, Narya Padiya Chellaro. But how many people think of Devaki? So it's it's something, you know, it's just as you go on reading, these things stir you. They they ring your heartstrings. So when that when that happens, sometime, at some point in time, spurika number artio, panacho, compose panacho, choreograph panacho, putting together, it will just it will it will up spurika. It's not that you know, you're so blessed that God, God even the Spurikara, Allah meda, Sakshat, everything we are only conduits. But, you know, and the Spurikara Vekkarada, and the Taitra, and the Shakti, Anal, Yeda Spurikara, that the sources of great inspiration. So, in the inspiration of the third in there, Kanonal Pakama, uh, it's not, uh, I must open my eyes and breathe and recover. Just make it part of your life. Be you become, that's it. When Krishna says, I am in the Bhagavad Gita, that is what we all have to strive to become. We are all mere mortals.
be sincere, be committed. Not a go. So either one day in the daily keep on bell pana say, ye in the Sullivan then. Again, it's an unusual approach. I did it sometimes, sometime in 86, 1986. Of course, I didn't take all the 10 stanzas, it would have been too much. But at the Panache, again, Apove Auchithium, I took. It, it was solo thematic, and the Auchityam was Vishnu Gautvetoda Aramiche, because it was on uh, Devaki. Uh, I'm sorry, on Krishna. So, Adila Vande, what could I do? Ippu Vande, number Meera, you would have seen the sophisticated lighting. Ivula Virta, because, but in, because of video, you need more lights, but it, it was beautiful on the stage. So you see you have rim lights, you have you have uh, spots, you, you have uh, specials, you have uh, intelligent lights, you have so many things. Those days, there was hardly anything. When I came from Kolkata, especially because I had had a Tapush Sen background, I wanted to bring in lighting in some way. Apola Yenana, for those, these youngsters who don't even know such things existed, the older dancers would know. We used to have three gundans. We used to call them gundans. But yeah, headlight. Moon. After that, there red and yellow piece piece paper. We didn't know gels or whatever. Yeah, the gels. That was that. Nineteen eighties. All that. Now, for it, what's it? Now, when the Shankar Acharya was married, dandan took it over. That. Now, dandan. Now, the whole full gels were going there. I would have gone there and selected gels and come. All that. Yeah, the piece piece paper, two and two spots. The spot. Only now, thousand spot, thousand one two hundred and fifty. That effect there. That was. But with that, even Varun has created magic. I know. He used to. Make uh, and the our endeavor and Kamla Radha Tilana Arache Yar proposed Nakralo or Selemaria Kedwa. That was a source of inspiration, and I had a very one a very dark student but with excellent features, brilliant dancer. So I said, I will not cake her with makeup, I'll highlight her eyes and her lips, I'll make her look like a bronze. So lighting other could plan Pani, 80s Labdi Pani. And so what we would do is at that time in the three or four I get you know only extra load there. So I the one dark red and uh, dark uh, yellow. So when we wanted to have it, red and yellow, amber, red and white, pink, but we had great, uh, develop, you found people like Gopi as lighting men. Of course, we have now the Christian brothers, they are fantastic, uh, IAPN is fantastic, Gotham is fantastic, they are all doing a great job, but with very little in hand, and you know, Gopi na yepri now. Why I am sharing with you about the light man Gopi is Gopi's daughter learned from us in Talakshmi and Nasimachari, correct? So why I am sharing that is number ke pahadi dancers ke enna raga varde enna teriye matengar de tarabaram sorunchikra na ba enna andu puriyanga. Edo pandra, edo artha varthi amitra kathinte. It's not choreography. It's not just doing movement to. Uh, rhythmic phrase or a melodic phrase. It's not just putting together uh, hastas, but it is so much more. That's what I'm trying to share. Upon the gopi, when there, I will, what you want me to do? Sorry, ma. Shankara Varuna Marchena, first I didn't know that he knew so much of his music. Then he and the spot I would like the spot to come out and then I would like the light to come on uh, on Shiva also known eh? ah, Shankara Varanatla Vandana spot of the Nata Kunji Aru Kachi said holistic to be able to conceive it like that. That is also difficult. That is also difficult. You know, number one gatcha and the one day work panade, number full light panapath and rupa on the title move panade. We know because oh, we, I, I, now a person like Sukanya or a person like Vijay who have traveled a lot with me, even on South Bank, I've made them sit and program lights because if we equip ourselves, we have the strong hand. We don't have to listen to what somebody else does, other equip yourself for music. 
be humble be ready to receive inputs but be very sure and clear of what you need just because we seen long ago in na light pota na na arkana illa adu relevance arkana na production ke na and red and white ava pota violet light pota na na podukana na adu anga avichithyam irukku idukku avichithyam enna va eppadi vaarthigal ku avichithyam irukkumo eppadi vande movement ku avichithyam irukkumo eppadi sanchari bhavathu ku avichithyam irukkumo idukku avichithyam lighting le avichithyam irukku அப்போ அந்த ஃபிளாஷ்பேக் ஸோ என்னன்னா அந்த இன்ட்ரடக்ஷனை பண்ணிட்டு ஐ வுட் பி இன் அ லைட் ஜஸ்ட் ஃப்ரோசன் அண்ட் அது காமெண்ட்ரி வரும் and as the music flowed in i would unfreeze and in that spot i would do the sai meaning as devaki then this would roll down that would roll up and in a moment i would be there and then enact the entire scene in the other space so these are unities of space time and action which is there in the other and these so the space time and action by using lighting and using a different space could be communicated now uh sorry ten more minutes ah huh? sorry have can i take a little more time is it okay okay right um so uh in this what do you do in a solo how do you do your more dramatic in an art and art cup but solo la in fact i want to put this on record and put it straight uh, leela venkatraman who is very erudite and is a scholar and knows a lot about dance and music our vanda avaroda in her book she has mentioned that chitra vishveshwan was a person who started showing this one character and then making a circle ala the kathak dancer she didn't say that but i'm saying what it is and turning round and doing another character not turn round e pan matte for instance if i was shakuni yudhishthira avula dhan pannuve adhe mari go to a source of inspiration இன்ஸ்பிரேஷன் எங்கே வருது தெரியாது இது ரெண்டு கா கேரக்டர்ஸ் கூட தான் ஒரே பாடி ரெண்டையும் பண்ண முடியும் சோர்ஸ் ஆஃப் இன்ஸ்பிரேஷன் இதுக்கு என்னன்னா தேர் இஸ் அ ஃபிலிம் கால் டவரிங் இன்ஃபர்னோ அண்ட் ஆல் ஆர் ரிமெம்பர் இட் ஐ தேர் வாஸ் தஸ் அூஜ் மல்டி ஸ்டோரி பில்டிங் பேர்னிங் அப்போ என்ன கேட்டால் நான் வந்து எப்படி வந்து இதை நம்ம காமிக்கிறது பிகாஸ் ஐ ஃபெல்ட் லுக் ஈச் ஒன் நோஸ் தேர் லிமிட்டேஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் தேர் ஸ்ட்ரென்ஸ் எனக்கு ஒரு லிமிட்டேஷன்னா ஐ ஃபெல்ட் நான் என் டான்சர்ஸ் டூ இட் ஐம் குவைட் ஆஸ்ட்ராக் அவளே விஸ்வரூபம் நின்று பண்ணாச்சு ஐம் குவைட் ஆஸ்ட்ராக் பட் ஐ ஃபெல்ட் இட் வாஸ் நாட் வித் இன் மை my capacity so what i felt enna panna enna panna eppadi panna eppadi panna eppadi yojana chakra ke se towering info na paathen and the inferno or and the inferno or is it the director had panned the camera to the face of the person who was watching the inferno and the patona my inspiration was this is going to be my source of inspiration like kuriyatam brought to me mani madhava chakyar Ya 
ராவண அது மாணிமாத வச்சு ஆக்கியாரை பார்த்து வந்து இன்ஸ்பிரேஷன் அதனால எங்கேயிருந்து நம்மளுக்கு இன்ஸ்பிரேஷன் வர போகிறது இட்ஸ் எவ்ரி வேர் அரௌண்ட் அஸ் ஸோ ஓகே there was this uh, a small solo uh, bit uh, not bit small solo sarasava santam and you know i in fact it was also part of navina niruparana or uh, fresh interpretations where uh, almost like an iconoclast i went out of the icon into the cosmic truth which lay behind it and did an entire performance in at that period i also looked at this particular uh, 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 piece uh, it's not one piece which again shows us how much reading can help us it's quite mind blowing you know adi shankar bhagavad pada he has written about manmata and our alena edirkarna manmata who is in the sanskrit tradition the most hand, handsome god so our vand he his best friend is vasanta so when vasanta ritu is born manmata takes over so his best friend is manmata and he describes how the bow string is me and the flowers and the bow string vand and the these are absolutely beautiful uh, describes a panchavishika and he says vasanta samanto vasanta is his minister and the malaya bharatam and the breeze le wafting breeze le he brings him on his war chariot enna alana varnipe do we have to think of a hasta inda varnipu porom and so many centuries later kalidasa says what does he say that manmata is the best friend of vasanta and together they create rasa and so many centuries later we have time separating these uh, poets jayadeva talks of mrutya tigavati janena samansaki virahi janasya durante the same season is gives togetherness for one and separation for the others so the beauty of vasanta the beauty of manmata these are cosmic truths it's it goes on forever so i took up the challenge and i did not use a krishna or a radha hasta at all and broke out of the time capsule and space capsule and pre- and thought capsule to a uh, 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 ever green truth because the principle of prakriti and purusha of the yin and the yang is time immemorial even in the great sa- uh, saints like tirunyana sambandhar about tevaratala they talk about the play of purusha and prakriti how the peacock and the bee hen dance together at tirunnamalai how they how the bamboo shoots spring how they cross pollinate and how life goes on idella evlo varaga nammalku onnume adala padichale porom adala ketale porom nangi nan good music ketta porom idella what i'm just going to do is to show how it is strung together i'm not going to do the whole piece but how karnaranjini la varu opening where i was inspired by the verses of shankar bhagavad pada just one line of his just one line of kalidasa and just for code of of the season and the eternal principle of love
ಜಂ ದಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಪ ದಂ ದ ಕಿಟ ಜಂ ದಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಪ ದಂ ದ ಕಿಟ ಜಂ ದಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಪ ದಂ ದ ಕಿಟ ಜಂ ಗರಿ ನಿ ದ ಗರಿ ನಿ ದ ತಂ ದ ಕಿಟ ಜಂ ಗರಿ ನಿ ದ ಗರಿ ನಿ ದ ತಂ ದ ಕಿಟ ಜಂ ದಸ ರಿ ಮ ಗರಿ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ದ ಸ ತಂ ದ ಕಿಟ ಜಂ ದಸ ರಿ ಮ ಗರಿ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ದ ಸ ತಂ ದ ಕಿಟ ಜಂ ಗರಿ ನಿ ದ ಗರಿ ನಿ ದ ತಂ ದ ಕಿಟ ಜಂ ಗರಿ ನಿ ದ ಗರಿ ನಿ ದ ತಂ ದ ಕಿಟ ಜಂ ಪ ದ ಸ ರಿ ಗ ಪ ಗ ರಿ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಗ ಪ ದ ಸ ದ ಗ ರಿ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ದ ಸ ರಿ ಮ ಗ ಪ ದ ಸ ದ ಗ ಧನು ಪೌಷ್ಪ ಮೌರ್ವಿ ಮಧುಕರಮಯಿ ಪಂಚವಿಶಿಖ ವಸಂತ ಸಾಮಂತೋ ಮಾಲಯ ಮರುಧಾಯೋ ಧನರಥ ಧನು ಪೌಷ್ಪ ರಮ್ಯ ಪ್ರದೋಷ ಸಮಯ ರಮ್ಯ ಪ್ರದೋಷ ಸಮಯ ಸರ್ವೇರಸಾಯನ ಇದ ಸಂತ ವಿಹರತಿ ಹರಿ ಹರಸವ ಸಂತ ವಿರಹರತಿ ಹರಿ ಹರಸವ ಸಂತೆ ವಿಹರತಿ ಹರಿ ಹರಸವ ಸಂತೆ ನೃತ್ಯತಿ ಯುವತಿ ಜನೇನ ಸಮಂ ಸಖಿ ನೃತ್ಯತಿ ಯುವತಿ ಜನೇನ ಸಮಂ ಸಖಿ ಕಡಿಕಿ ಧಿಡಿಕಿ ಧೀನ್ ಧೀನ್ ಕುಕುಂದ ರೀತ ಕಡೀನ್ ಗುತ ಕಡದ ತಳಂಗುತ ಕಡೀನ್ ಧೀನ್ ಕುಕುಂದ ಧೀನ್ ಕುಕುಂದ ಕುಕುಂದ ತಕ್ಕುಂದ ರೀಕಿಟ ತಕ ತಕ್ಕುಡಿಂಗು ದಾತ ತಕ್ಕುಡಿಂಗು ದಾ ತಕ್ಕುಡಿಂಗು ದಾತ ಕುಡಿಂಗು ದತ್ತಿತ್ತ ತಜಂ ಕೃತಕ ಧರಿಗಿಡದು ತತ್ತಿತ್ತ ಜಂ ಕೃತಕ ಧರಿಗಿಡದು ತತ್ತಜಂ ಕೃತಕ ಧರಿಗಿಡದು ನೃತ್ಯತಿ ಯುವತಿ ಜನೇನ ಸಮಂ ಸಖಿ ವಿರಹಿ ಜನಸ ದುರಂತ ವಿರಹಿ ಜನಸ ದುರಂತ ಲಲಿತಲವಂಗ ಲತಾ ಪರಿಶೀಲನ ಕೋಮಲಮಲಯ ಸಮೀರ ಲಲಿತಲವಂಗ ಲತಾ ಪರಿಶೀಲನ ಕೋಮಲಮಲಯ ಸಮೀರ ಮಧುಕರ ನಿಕರ ಕರಂಬಿತ ಕೋಕಿಲ ಮಧುಕರ ನಿಕರ ಕರಂಬಿತ ಕೋಕಿಲ ಕೂಜಿತ ಕುಂಜ ಕುಟೀರೇ ಲಲಿತ ಲವಂಗ ಲತಾ ಪರಿಶೀಲನ ಕೋಮಲ ಮಲಯ ಸಮೀರ ಲವಂಗ ಲತಾ ಪರಿಶೀಲನ ಕೋಮಲ ಮಲಯ ಸಮೀರ ಲಲಿತ ಲವಂಗ ಲತಾ ಪರಿಶೀಲನ ಕೋಮಲ ಮಲಯ ಸಮೀರ ಲಲಿತ ಲವಂಗ ಲತಾ ಪರಿಶೀಲನ ಕೋಮಲ ಮಲಯ ಸಮೀರ ಲಲಿತ ಲವಂಗ ಲತಾ ಪರಿಶೀಲನ ಕೋಮಲ ಮಲಯ ಸಮೀರ 
ಲಲಿತಲವಂಗ ಲತಾಯ ಪರಿಶೀಲನ ಕೋಮಲ ಮಲಯ ಸಮೀರ ಕೋಕಿಲ ಕೂಚಿತ ಕುಂಜ ಕುಟೀರೆ ವಿಹರತಿ ಹರಿ ಹ ಸರಸವಸಂತೆ ನೃತ್ಯತಿ ಯುವತಿ ಜನೇನ ಸಮಂ ಸಖಿ ವಿರಹಿ ಜನಸ್ಯ ದುರಂತೆ ವಿರಹಿ ಜನಸ್ಯ ದುರಂತೆ ಮದ ಮದನ ಮನೋರಥ ಪಥಿ ಕವಧು ಜನ ಜನಿತ ಕಲಾಪೆ ಉನ್ಮದ ಮದನ ಮನೋರಥ ಪಥಿ ಕವಧು ಜನ ಜನಿತ ಕಲಾಪೆ ಕುಲ ಸಂಕುಲ ಕುಸುಮ ಸಮೂಹ ನಿರಾಕುಲ ಬಕುಲ ಕಲಾಪೇ ಅಲಿ ಕುಲ ಸಂಕುಲ ಕುಸುಮ ಸಮೂಹ ನಿರಾಕುಲ ಬಕುಲ ಕಲಾಪೇ ನೃತ್ಯತಿ ಜನೇನ ಸಮಂ ಸಖಿ ವಿರಹಿ ಜನಸ್ಯ ದುರಂತೇ ಲಲಿತ ಲವಂಗ ಲತಾ ಪರಿಶೀಲನ ಕೋಮಲ ಮಲಯ ಸಮೀರೆ ಲಲಿತ ಲವಂಗ ಲತಾ ಪರಿಶೀಲನ ಕೋಮಲ ಮಲಯ to call upon the youngsters who have prepared a small little demo for you all here even as they come up you if you can move this if you would like not just our bodies we need to use to emote different type to use emoting different types of people but would you like just show the very small snippet of from jimuta vahana both anusuya and lakshmi have been part of this uh, scene and earlier now it's anusuya and me and doing it the story of jimuta vahana and this is part of sneha again one of our thus where i was told to bring a production to the middle east without any words about our religion our gods our goddesses whatever and first i said yes he very then i said no i chickened out then i said no i'm afraid of failure let me go ahead with it light this is just yeah
have to work at becoming a bird, at becoming a dead body, at becoming a lifeless body, becoming a, a becoming a river, becoming a wave. You have to become. You have to understand the situation. It's not forgetting everything, forgetting yourself and doing it because you can't at any moment forget yourself totally. But you have to work and work and work to be able to make your body emote because we are dancing in larger spaces today and beyond ten rows, nobody can see your face really. Uh, now they will, uh, well, just a uh, small aside, uh, I spoke about Varu's melodic chalukate and the code comes in this opening and that uh, just code of the beginning and end of the chati. He's in the mood of Vasanta. I used it as Jhansi Kirani. Kukuta, ding, kukuta, tukuta, takuntari, kitta, takatari, kitta, ding, ding, kukuta, takati, kuta, kudra, tala, kuta, kati, kudra, mari, yala, itikala, yingendi, varura, roda, paka, inona, paka, the kavit of the katak, and Virju Maharaja's expressive rendition. All these is, these have been the sources of inspiration. These youngsters are now coming forward to do an extract from now the world famous Angayar Kanni, which in the early 90s I had approached Mama with a request. Again, the source of inspiration that uh, Saundarya Lahari, in fact, one copy of mine is still with him, one of the publications, and in that, to say the humility of such a great musician, who can they discuss Panova day in, day out, we'll sit and discuss. And then, while choosing ragas, giving me choices, sitting with me, same thing Jayashree did when we worked together. I would describe the mood of the scene, she would compose, we'd move, get together, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Appo vande, adela vande, thonda vande avatla kurthona vande, I took the liberty, I said, Poor Angatla Sanchari Pula Pandrapla Rasa Varda Nanarko, Uttaragatla, let's keep things like Bibatsam and all. Rautram Biri Bibatsam Langa Padikla. So we, and the liberty at the Avaravanda, the Kotu Kudakachonona, and then the suitable. We had done this many years earlier with my husband and I with Kalyan Raman, uh, Shiva Shangaratra, where we had used lagas like Khevangi and Padi and all, which were very unusual in the dance discipline. And he had it ready for me like this. And it was. Uh, I still have the notated notes which he gave me. And Adela Vande, there were various there are variations in the books later, but he told me to keep it as he taught it to my husband and myself. Our porta piche, iniki the walaha moraka. I have been able to take it. Adil, again, how it's been translated from a solo into a group presentation. We once did a Dashavataram when all ten dancers never got off the stage, but they would freeze and then unfreeze. So you will find the two incidents of Maran and Kalan being depicted, which in an aside, again, the two most difficult things to conquer Love and death. Rendio Kaikula Kundu and the Var Shivan. And again, a little uh, explanation. This is for the younger set of dancers and choreographers. Araha Panite Lana right leg ala for the Chitpo in Airpa, Shivan was the Chitpo. But Shivan left leg alada was a chat. Karnam yenna scientific America Purusha Prakriti. The quiescent energy, the kinetic energy, Adanala the Ambal Kalala Eti Vodikara. Come. And after that, I have. I have a lot more, but I can't do anything more. 
But Vijay is also here, so I would like to end with uh, another small, just a wrap up. And uh, that Jhansi Ki Rani was part of my production for Natya Rana. Oh, mm -hmm.
കണ്ട് സത്യനാരായണ ഹു ഓൾസോ ഹസ് ലേൺ മ്യൂസിക് ഫ്രോം മൈ ഹസ്ബൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ഹാസ് ഓൾസോ സാങ് വിത്ത് ഹിം ആൻഡ് സാങ് ടുഡേ വിദ്യാനന്ദ് one who went to the corporate world and came back to Arats. Jay Kuhaini Reddy. <laughs> Sharmada Vishwanath. Bharatiya's great grand niece. And of course, Sanat Kumar, who the dance world and now the theater world also knows. And... Uh, yes uh, okay timer ka la okay and uh we jay upon ma me kare ni va aur na na surprise so kanya ravinder who is the deputy director of pine kings institution and who has who shoulders all the responsibilities and so much so i can take off three months sick leave <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yes it is also the laya at which we take a piece which is important and we had a few demonstrations for that but we'll say continued because and it is not just a raga it is a laya because i remember once we took mohanam for a lali and it was played it at in a layam which went with the mood usually number krishna rai bhagane nyavara mohan nare but it is a speed again when you that was all there implicit in the stringing together in sarasava santam how the viraha went into a slower speed and how one flowed into the other it is mainly play of the laya at which we take it and now uh, though we had more uh, my videos to demonstrate the walk of the kauravas which was inspired for me for inspired by the kut low flung kut movement for these very evil dragged down to earth with the negative qualities kauravas for whom i used floor lighting of red and blue at that time it was oh okay here comes the kaurava uh, the floor lighting and uh, uh, th- that was we had done a project with kutu patrai with na ramaswami and they wanted to learn the theater people wanted to learn lighting for dance so we worked together and i was inspired by the kutu movement such 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 low flung movements it sort of suggested the character now what would i do for the pandavas then do they are not pure pure absolute one wonderful guys but still they are in comparison much much more erect characters so i brought them in with more erect movements and the lighting the source of inspiration was impressionist painting because that was the first time when impressionist painting the dark paints the canvas was stripped of dark paints and light filtered in and that lighting was used from one side golds and ambers and straws and floor lighting that was from the top this is from the bottom and i must say every dancer really acted uh, i really worked really really worked including me i went from the house with my house and hair unbound for 3 months and my husband said if you need it i'll tell you to pare apoda ne ni job di bari katta verbe because you know you get so you be, i became so argumentative when i was questioning everything because bhartias uh, draupadi so strong panchali so finally இவ்வளவுலாம் பண்ணியாச்சு இந்த திரௌபதியை சோறு பண்ணியாச்சு குரூப் பண்ணியாச்சு அடிச்சு பிடிச்சு பீட்டு தட் கிரேட் ஒர்க் இன் டு வர்ச்சுவல் வர்ச்சுவல் டயர்ட்னஸ் 
and Natyarangam comes up with Draupadi for me. And that series, they were all duets. They chose the Guru and the Shishya. They chose me and Vijay and asked me to handle Panchali. I said, I don't know what I'm doing. 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 What do you want to do? Why not look? Just take out incidents, the action which brought out the reaction from her. She was not born that way. Motali Vidura Rapakache, she's very humble, a humble young bride. And a woman over incident in her life which changed her into that fiery Draupadi. We will just show you the characters. We had very beautiful uh, we had a coat stand on one side bharatiya's stick and bharatiya's specs and bharatiya's waistcoat hanging as decor and then we had vijay entering as katya karan with a pencil with a nib as a coal and then in the lines in vani uh, sharana adindin where draupadi panchali the words come at that time i would make my entry and Uh, and then it went into each confrontation and we will just uh, do that as a finale hanachu The young Panchali meets the elder Vidura seeking his blessings. The young Panchali in a romantic situation with Arjuna. The life ahead of them full of dreams and hopes the evil dushasana dragging her by her hair into the kaurava mahasabha an insulted humiliated panchali questions the pancha pandavas on nyaya and dharma on not receiving any reply from them she seeks justice from bhishma pitamaha the eldest in the court who is again unable to help panchali in this situation this is the right juncture for the cunning conniving karna who seizes this opportunity to insult her and the pandavas
the enraged panchali takes the ominous oath that leads to the war at kurukshetra finally oh victory justice peace shankha chakra gada Dr. Vijay Madhavan. Even as Lakshmi is Dr. Lakshmi Ramaswamy. Do you want me to invite questions? Any questions? All lights. Audience light, put on your please. This is not a question, Akka. Just being work, working with you for so long, and uh, I just remember the Surya Murthy, which was done in, uh, which we took Dikshita Skriti to Konarak, and uh, here we performed. <laughs> Did you have it that also? <laughs> he uh, on on the normal platforms we used to do the seven horses arranged in this way and then the aruna and then the surya ka stands the surya there and the plight of the seven horses <laughs> to move in an eight still maintaining that seven ray uh, thing and it was tough for us to just bring that choreography into the uh, a normal stage like this uh, that was itself difficult and akka's inspiration grew thousand times when she went to konarak and it was a three level stage and she still wanted that eight there <laughs> and it was yeah <laughs> and she's behind driving us saying right now left and now to the center and now the pose and uh, it just comes to my mind thank you akka you had a lot of fun working on these things <laughs> yeah the space has to inspire you in the moment for instance the ncpa main stage is a circular is a semi circular stage other than the i remember when i first went and danced uh, solo primarily uh, na which side do i end and it was so confusing and all the more when you do uh, a group production ramani ah <laughs> no i i think we're running out of time and uh, if i ask you this uh, it's going to take a lot of time but can you briefly tell uh, the importance of the rehearsals that go into a choreography because from what you see today you know uh, it's absolute haphazard movements that's happening so how much because when you see our productions you know the coordination that happens it's something which uh is also a very intrinsic part of choreography you know the amount of effort you put in with the groups working together so if you can just briefly talk about it we run out of time i think but uh, you can briefly talk of the importance of uh, rehearsals i think in any good production there are there are many good productions i think the practice is plays a very very intrinsic part it's not just enough to visualize and enough to choreograph but the execution is so important and and execution you may be uh, you may be seven dancing on stage but you must think as one 
Similarly, in an orchestra, there may be 15 musicians, but they must think as one. You have to learn to be part of a cohesive whole. And I think uh, practice, practice, and more practice is, is, there's no end to how much you can practice. Even if you're repeating the same piece again and again, and especially now with recorded music, I, I have now, uh, I have first, took the first step to break out of a mind sink that movement, so I create to the recorded music, I'm also leading the youngsters to create, but for that each rehearsal, one is different from the other, but there's no, no end to the number of, I won't even call them rehearsals, I would just call them part of the whole experience as growing to be part of the production. Anubhuti has six dancers, every one of them is Anubhuti. And all together, they are Anubhuti. So it is, uh, there's no end to it. And also, rehearsals with lighting in mind. We very often don't get the stage for text, right? And uh, very often, decor also. Nobody knows, none of them know, but it is important for the dancers to sensitize themselves. You, the choreographer sensitizes herself or himself and empowers oneself. The dancers have also to sensitize themselves to decor, to lighting. They must know exactly when, they must know how to catch the light. While dancing, you must know how to catch the light. You can't just come st uh, search for your cross on the stage and then stand and then shuffle. Then it looks unprofessional. So it has to become part of you. Yes, Chak Kushini. Okay. Yeah. So I have two, but you can choose. Um, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. uh, so uh, what's in the name of the production? How does somebody start uh, thinking and and like because it struck me because when you were talking about Anubhava and Anubhuti mm. so how does uh, or does the name inspire or does the production choreography inspire the name vice versa the second one I'm just saying but just for others and we can always uh, how does a dancer know what is the angle or you know how how do I understand what does suit suits me? Just saying. I, how do I know what is appropriate? These girls are laughing because they've all gone through it. Yes. Ask me all I these know? questions. Yeah. Yeah. Whichever. Practical for the dancer. Which one? The angle is better. Yeah, yeah. You can tell what suits the but dancer best. How does the because that's you know choreography that. means arrangement also, isn't yeah. it? So I think we let let's all begin by keeping our rooms artistically, aesthetically, and uh, I am I'm, I'm very particular. The angle must be right. The plane must be right, and I have themes for each room. Uh, that's how I work on my artistic instinct. If we begin, you know, it, it, we shouldn't like, a doctor is not a doctor if he just puts on his coat when he goes into the theater. He has to be always a doctor. We have always to be dancers and musicians. So it begins in the space you live in. Make that space artistic. Make it beautiful. Arrange it beautifully. And see it vis-a-vis -vis bodies. When a person comes walking, you know, see what angle looks nice on that person. When you place something, see what angle looks nice. So this is just an extension. And for me, choreography is like arranging my living room, rearranging it the next day, and going from one room into the other. Janaki is nodding her head. She knows because I'm quite crazy about it. Uh, and so is Ramani because he is also <laughs> knows it, yes. So uh, you have to develop these. You have to, as I said from the beginning, you empower yourself. You empower, your, you empower yourself by reading, by listening, by viewing, by seeing, like hearing um, Barura's bowls and uh, Maharaji's bowls have been a source of inspiration. Seeing painting. So, you know, by going every day for 14 days that I first stayed in Paris in 1974 to the Louvre every day, has had some impact. Somewhere I remember the Renaissance painters and could be inspired. So everything is like that. Keep looking for beauty. And see beauty in ugliness also. Yeah, thank you.
on behalf of Natinagam, uh, we really don't have words to thank you, Chitata. On behalf of Nati Rangam, we thank Shrimati Chitra Vishweshwaran for this, um, I know, I think we should probably give each one a series <laughs> of choreography. We are really thank you from the bottom of our heart for bringing to us that it is, uh, choreography has so much more than what young dancers think, just arrangement, formation, lighting. So, uh, it's a lifetime process and years and years of, uh, you know, an eye for aesthetics, for kinetics and a whole lot of things she's been telling us. So I think all of us will go with a lot of things in our minds and heart and keep thinking about it and you will be using it over the years in your choreography. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, yeah, anybody who has any questions on choreography, here we have run short of time. You're all most welcome to contact uh, Ch Simati Chitra uh, in her home. You can send her emails or you can call her and you can fix up some time and visit her home. It's always open and once you go there, you will know what beauty is, what is the ar arrangement and what is the angle. <laughs> the whole house is full of that. Thank you so much.